Mina, Kumbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at y'all with something completely and totally personal tonight. Has nothing to do with, well, it has something to do with the Bible. I do have a Bible verse prepared and everything, but it's very, very personal. Something happened today, so I was like, you know what? This is me going through, a, this is a very, I consider this a very minor rough time because, you know, I'm not going to be kicked out of my house. I'm not going to be, you know, lose a limb or die or anything like that. You know, I'm not, I'm not affected horribly adversely. It's, um, it's an emotional pain. Um, and it wasn't an incredibly close friend. So I don't like to start thinking of Robert or anyone you see on this channel. It wasn't any of those guys. But there was an acquaintance that I was doing, um, I was doing some work with and... Got, I got a little bit offended with that person, and it wasn't very pleasant, and they got angry, and then because they got angry, I got angry. So today I've been in a little bit of a, a, a tussle. Is that, I don't even know if that's the right word. Whatever. So I was like, okay, what's the proper response to this? You know, this person's b being irritating, and I don't like what they're doing. They have a bad attitude. They've gotten on my nerves. They've offended me. You know, what should I do? And so instead of uh, instead of cussing them out and uh, calling them out and sending some you know uh, nasty message their way, I decided <laughs> to be completely honest. I decided to cuss them out before the Lord. I'm not gonna. I, I might as well be completely honest with you guys. There's no reason not to be. Um, and if I'm if I'm gonna help anybody in a similar situation, even if I'm not doing it right, I need to tell you what I did. And then if I'm doing something wrong, you can let me know in the comments down below. Cussed them out before the Lord, let them know I was not happy with them. And I then purposed in my heart to forgive them. Good old Matthew chapter 5. You've heard it preached a few times, so let me talk about it while I'm in the middle of it. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. And so that's what I'm trying to do. I did cuss them out before the Lord, um, but I'm not, I'm not spreading word about them to my friends, trying to justify myself before my friends. I am not, and I'm also not telling my friends what happened in the form of a prayer request, using a prayer request as an excuse to talk about how bad this person is and how badly they need Jesus and how badly they're in sin. No. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pray on my own. I'm going to pray in my own words, in my own prayer closet before the Lord. No, I, I'm not going to let you guys know who it is. Uh, it's, not, it's not important. I told you it's not anyone you've seen on this channel, so I don't think there's anything between me and Robbie or me and Seth because it's not that. Everything is cool with those guys. Um, <clears throat> just someone that I'm, I'm getting some work done with. And, yeah, it's just... Uh, you know, it's not fun. It's a hard time. It, uh, it messed me up a little bit emotionally today, even as a guy. I have emotions. I care about stuff. I care about people. And even though I'm kind of tempted to not care as much about this person, I refuse to not do that. Um, I will care. I don't know if maybe I said that wrong a sentence ago. Whatever. I will choose to care. I will choose to love this person. I'm pretty sure they don't know Jesus. I'll do my best to continue to try to be a good example of him to them. Whether they get it or not, whether they understand it or not, whether they forgive me or not. Those things aren't important. I will keep my soul pure before the Lord. My complaints about that person I will take to the Lord. And if opportunity comes up, I'll take them to that person. If, if the right chance comes up, and if the right chance doesn't come up, then, oh well, that's fine. I'll forgive them. I'll get over myself. I'll get over my anger. I'll get over my hurt emotions. Because the Lord's got me. And the Lord's got them. The Lord died for them. The Lord loves them. I'm going to keep that in mind um, as I continue um, to have dealings with this person, however long that may be. So yeah, that's it, guys. I wanted to give you all a real-life analogy of what's going on, of what it means to love your enemies and to love your neighbor. And honestly, I also wanted to give myself a video to remind myself what I should be doing, to keep myself accountable. And uh, if I ever say something stupid in the future, you guys can hop on me like, Brandon, that's not what you said in that preaching video. You're supposed to love and forgive this person, right? Because I should. That's exactly what I should do. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.